Bridgin, Benjamin Bridgin, Benjamin Bridgin. Benjamin Bridgin, Benjamin Bridgin, Benjamin Bridgin. Please don't send him up again. Please don't send him up again. Edward Benjamin Bridgin, born Lowestoft, 1913. That is approximately. Went to the Royal College of Music, studied under Frank Bridge. That is according to Percy Schools. His work was soon in rehearsal because he always used that person. A rising young composer, he published every spring an older English folk song for Peter Pierce to sing. The judges at each festival admired his sinfonietta and noted it the best of all. They never heard a better. Was applauded by the masses, the middle classes too, and even by the highwoods and the county set. Yes, even by the doggy doggy few. Art songs, war tents, cantatas, a spring symphony for thick but sultry and siffler. No, but that was not all. Whenever he had a spare half hour, it was always, let's make an opera. the civilized world and in America. Pieter Grimm. Pieter Grimsky. Pedro Grimo. Peter J. Grimes. Of the first beggar's opera, they used to say that it made gay rich and it made rich gay. Revived by our hero, after all these years, it made bundles for Britain and piles for peers. The rape of Lucretia was splendid fun, and night after night was discreetly done. But best of them all, we should like to say it, was the night when the curtain came down. Too late. His mother kept Albert bearing in curls. He was never allowed to go out with girls. His terrible fate he long endured until Albert Herring got pickled and cured. Nor did Uncle Benji forget the dear little children composing for them a young person's guide to the orchestra. In which are explained the capabilities of each instrument, such as the pianoforte. For instance, you can play on the white notes, or you can play on the black notes. You can screw up the stool, or you can screw it down again. The turn of the screw. You can raise the piano lid and you can shut it again. So much for the pianoforte, but back to opera and Billy Budd. With floggings and hangings and hitch and toss and nothing but men, oh, it made John Cross as for Gloriana. As Covent Garden discovered all too soon, you can pay John Piper, but you can't call the tune. But Gloriana was a social success. It turned out a regular orgy. And best. So roll Britannia, 
while Bridgin rules the stakes. All the music-loving public, all.